I wanted to play something for you. That in Yiddish? It's my cantor. And uh, Janice Singh. And you'll recognize this in a minute. It's a very famous song. famous uh, favorite song was by Mia Bish to Shane. And it was kind of a bittersweet thing because at my um, first uh, child's, uh, this was actually my youngest one's bat mitzvah for children. You know, we, I said, well, we're going to do a little song thing, you know, for everybody who's uh, lighting the candles. And when we get to the end and after we did it right before, I think my husband and I lit the candle, I said, this one is in honor of your grandmother. And we um, played, you know, the DJ was playing cuts. He played by Mia Bish to Shane, by Mia Haas to Shane. So that was, that was kind of a really nice thing. Well, today we're going to hit the big time. Hi, Charlene. Hi, how are you? I am good. I'm good to go. So um, let me just, I'm taking everybody's attendance. We are doing really well. Carol. Um, yes. Carol. Yep. I don't think Helene's going to make the class. She's got a problem uh, with some mold issue or something in her house. Uh, she may oh, come yeah, later, yeah. but she may not make it. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Did you guys have your little review class? Yes. All right, let me tell you, this is really amazing. All right, so let me see today. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Are we six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm gonna keep track of everybody. Okay, so you all know that you're all registered for next semester. You keep the same Zoom link and uh, we'll have a couple more people, maybe up to 20, which means eight new students, but everyone is supposed to be on the same level. So, you know, we're not going back to square one. This is Jerusalem squares. I mean, we're, we're going forward. It's the Kadima. So uh, if they, there is going to be also a beginner class so those people who are really not truly advanced beginner will be able to take a beginner class. So nobody will be disenfranchised. Good? Now, are we pay, meeting right? every week or every other week? Every week. Okay. We Starting I just, um, wrote a uh, curriculum up. They asked me to write up, you know, I went through the whole Shalom Aleichem book. I was at a meeting on Monday and we added some other really important things that you should know, like how to take a Torah aliyah and not be scared. Um, parts of the Haggadah. I mean, that's my most favorite thing in the world, the Haggadah and, and Passover. So easy things like the four questions and the beginning, Kadesh, Orchad, so I'll teach you those things. You know, a few important things. Uh, we will skip the very end of the book, which is like the last four pages, which is a Mariv service, which is not as important as knowing some pieces of the Saturday morning service and, you know, more functional Judaism. So, uh, ah, there's Ella. Hi. Ella. 
You know, there's a book called Ella of All of a Kind Family. Oh, I love Sydney. that book. Yes. Sydney Taylor. I love it too. Okay, so Ella is Carol, there. will you be sending us a schedule? An email of the dates again and time and all yes. that or yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Julia Excellent. will probably send that out. If not, I will. And let me see, Susan is here. And okay. my question is, are they going to continue to post the um, the recordings? Because this I last week, so. I, I think so. Okay. Wasn't there last week? Um, the last time yeah. I looked was Wednesday, and it wasn't there, so I didn't look on Thursday. Right. Okay. I find it very helpful. So. It is. It is helpful. It is. Okay. I don't see Faye yet. Let's see who else. And Helene might not make it, you said, and we're good. And what about Esther? Is she here? Esther is not here. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I went through and I sent, um, I sent to Rabbi uh, Wallen's uh, proposed curriculum. Because like I said, we had a meeting and I added those things that people suggested. And I think it's chock full of delicious stuff. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I mean, it's really things that you'll feel proud of yourself knowing and being to function Jewishly in the synagogue service and the home service. So we added a few more pieces of the home service of Friday night, the blessing of the children um, ah, there's Esther. Hello. Washing hands. Now today we're going to do the Kiddush. And the Kiddush is very important. And I'm going to sing it for you. And I'm also going to uh, look up, I haven't had a chance, but I'm going to look up on YouTube and see if there's some sort of a, uh, you know, uh, singing of the Kiddush, which is really good. So, okay. Let me say we have Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Who's missing? Faye, 10, Helene, 11. Who else is missing? Anybody else? Oh, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Jackie, Jackie Flashman. Okay, she might not make it today. All right. So uh, we're going to get started. I think uh, time. All right. Um, if you would go to page 38, we have a couple of new letters to learn today and the whole Kiddush. Oh my goodness. So I hope you ate your Wheaties or your chocolate Krispies or whatever. Okay, so what I'm gonna, I'm gonna be taking an, a refresher class uh, through Women's League on um, Zoom. And I hope to be able to learn how to use the whiteboard, in which case I'll be able to introduce the letters, uh, how they're written in script. If I can't master the whiteboard, I'll hold up a piece of paper, but I want you to learn how to you how what script looks like. Okay, um, and I think that's like the next step after you learn the alphabet is a little bit of the writing. Okay, so now on page 38. What's the word that's on the top of the page? Can you figure that? Yes. Oh, but then thank you to those who figured out, thanks to those who figured out my mystery message. Fagan? No. Geffen? Geffen. 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 Oh, Geffen. Yeah. What does Geffen mean? Bore Priha Geffen or Bore Priha Geffen? It's all the same. Wine. Geffen. Wine. Okay. Yayan is wine. Geffen is a grapevine oh great vine so the blessed is the fruit of the vine wine but the it said pari means the fruit of and geffen is grapevine the fruit of the grapevine did everybody figure out your secret message decoder well, i don't know if everybody did but <laughs> i didn't finish it so <laughs> i didn't have enough time all right puzzles uh did somebody have it with them i have it too um i wrote yeah. I got yeah. it. Okay. Our study group Who's got it? together. Jackie, group, uh, Jody, Jody. What did I what did I write, Jody? Hold did on. Figure it out? It up. Yep. One second. Uh, Let's see. Our study groups.
figured it out together. Oh, the study group figured it out? Okay. Is it there? Yeah, okay. That's, okay. I got, um, I apologize, one second. After I had sent, I didn't copy it to myself. All right, Robin, what, what did the yeah, study go group ahead. figure out? Your students. What, what was I, the first word? The first word was what? Oh, hi. Hi, dear students. Uh, <laughs> hi, dear students. I am glad uh, uh, um, you are learning to read so well. Um, uh, um, it, oh, it's it is exciting. And we, um, what do we say? Ella, what did we say that last word was? Congratulations. Congratulations, Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations Carol. Carol. Right. How many the tough one, was, the tough one was exciting. <laughs> that was the one I was yeah. like. That's what you said. <laughs> right. Uh, like I said, with my Hebrew class, I used to have a Zion class, which is seventh graders. And you really need to keep their attention. You have to do all kinds of things. When uh, we were doing, um, in teaching one of the Psalms, it was called Hallelujah, Hallelujah. So this, I had one year, six kids in the class and they were a handful, more than having like 25. This was a not a great group. So I said, I'm gonna outfox them. They huh. think they make noise and they're off track. I said, I'm gonna fix their gooses. So I went into the, um, in the Hebrew school the nursery room and I got I asked permission if I could go into the closet and I got all kinds of things like little little tambourines and little drums and and the bells and all kinds of things that make a lot of noise and I said to them so the melody goes da da da, da and then they're all supposed to go ba 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 and make oh, the da 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 ba 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 well I don't think they ever forgot that they loved that one because they learned how to <laughs> how to sing it but they had a lot of fun so you know you got to be crafty so with them sometimes i'd have the secret message on the board they give like extra credit if they came in early whoever could decipher it and i called it fun edics and that's you know i would have all kinds of tricks with them you have to keep them alive keep them on track okay so we have the we had a gimel last week now this is a new letter the name of the letter is Fae, okay. like our Fay, Behudi, and it is the sound of an F. Okay, now with the Fay, we're also going to see a little later on the next page. There's a Pay. In Hebrew, you know, some of the letters, if they have a dot, it changes the sound, like a bet and a vet. And we have, we'll have a kaf. We had the kaf, and we'll have a kaf. So they look alike, except for the dot in the middle. This particular letter, Fay, comes with two family members. He's got a pay, which is on the next page with the dot. And he also has a final Fay. Okay, like in the word um, af, which means nose. Af it ends in a Fay. Okay, so. Let's go together. I mean, together, we'll do it together, not after me. Line one, which is review of all the vowels with the new letter they. Okay, here we go. Ready? Let's stay together. One, two, three. Let's go. B, 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 it's just the sound of the letter. Okay, I would like a volunteer for line two. They got three of these in a row. There's three the same in a row. Somebody like to try that? Ella. Okay. But she really didn't yeah. like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, and then, then my grandmother would, would spit, you know. <laughs> um, yeah. 
Geffen, uh, Ge, 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 Gef, Geffen, um, Geffen, 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 Goffin, I'm sorry. Same, same. Agafin. Okay. Agafin. Very good. Nice job. Okay, line three, we have a volunteer. Line three. Okay, Esther. Afar, Hafin. Uh, I'm sorry. Hafar. Uh, ha Look at the vowel. Right. Ha Fair, le fanan. It's a vav at the end. Oh, le fa nav. Excellent. Tiv a ra. Beautiful. Tif a ret. Tif ro z. Very, very good. Tif ro z. Beautiful. There's some good words there. And we see the tzadi again. Review the tzadi. Very nice. Okay, on line four. Now, they're building up to what we'll be using. So these words will come back at us. Okay, Alice, could you do line three? Carol, just can I ask you a question? Um, I mean, line four. Yeah. Carol, the, um, the T in the last word on line three, um, that has a dot in it. Is that I can't remember that. What is, is that change the change it from a T to something else? Oh, the first letter. The first letter of the of okay. Yeah, the last so, word in line three. Yeah, good question. A review thing. Um, in Ashkenazic Hebrew, there would be a tav and a sav, and the one with the dot would be a. Um, yeah, that would be the. She's a forget her again. That would be the tav, and the one with that would be the sav. So they would say like Shabbos instead of Shabbat. So now in Sephardic Hebrew, this letter, the Tav with the dot or the Sav, same letter without the dot, we're going to pronounce it like a T, always in Sephardic Hebrew. So people okay, so say it's, it's the same Shabbat. thing with or without the, with or without the T, uh, the dot, so it's going to be a T. That's teeth, okay. teeth, T, T. Uh, Teeth yeah. throat C, mm -hmm. because we're doing Sephardic, because that's what they speak in Israel. Okay, good I question. think I missed that class. It's always good to review these things. Yeah, it's always good. Okay, Alice, you're going to do line four? Uh, I'm going to try, but it's very hard. Okay. Fana, oh, fana, no. <laughs> okay, not... the Yud and the Vav, we had that once before, is always okay. pronounced Av, because you have Fa, Naive, fanav. Naive, fanav. Okay. okay, fa nav. The yud and the vav is av. So it's fa nav, fanav. Nakad ma. Very good. Okay, and then the last, the next one is the uh, same thing. Fanav. Right, Yudvav is of Batoda. Mm -hmm. Do any of these words sound familiar to anybody? You know where they no. come from? <laughs> no. <laughs> right, you'll see them. I'm not going to give it away yet. Okay, so line five, uh, Robin. Batoda. I'm not going to give it away one. yet. Okay. Tara, Vahu. Yige Betifa Betifa Ra. Very, very good. Okay, so these are all parts of prayers from the Friday night service. They, they belong to different. Is that from a Joan alum? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Betifa Adon Olam. Adon Olam Hashem Allah. Yes, but these don't all go together. So what they're doing is little phrases and they're building, building, building. And what they, what's the smart part about this book is he took words from the Friday night service that as we're learning new letters, there are words that we're able now to pronounce. But the words 
that he selected are all from Friday night service. So these words we will be seeing as we build more and we can do the whole prayer, right? Because Friday night has a lot of psalms to Helim and it's very nice, a lot of nice uh, melodies. That's where this stuff is coming from. Okay, volunteer for line, what are we on line six? Mm -hmm. A volunteer. Nobody wants to volunteer. Okay, I volunteer. Repeat after me. Oh, good, Carol. Okay. Oh, Carol, you're here. I thought you were going to have a problem. No. That's Helene. Oh, Helene. Yeah, Helene was the one. Okay. Tif Eret. Tif Eret. Shame. Ul. Ula, ula, chief, ula, ula, chief, fer, ula, chief, uh, red. Good. And now, you wouldn't know this, but that is um, an ending schwa. That's one that is a silent one. So it's le, that's a sounded schwa, le shame. And then it's ul, that's the end of the syllable, ul, teeth. Ul ti ferret. So there's a um, silent shva, ul ti ferret. It's not ul ti ferret. It's ul ti ferret. Okay. And um, uli 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 um, ti. What, what? Okay. Now that's not a vowel. That's vav. Okay. Oh, okay. to be ooh, so, uh, you have to have a dot in the middle. And I'm yeah, not going to be yeah, punching yeah. you in your stomach. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Valit. Um, okay. Valit. He. La. Good. So that line was T ferret. And then Le shame. Ul T ferret. Valit. He la. Okay. Very good. Now, line seven begins with a big bad guy in the Passover story. And who would that be? So Carol. So Carol. Uh, going back Carol. to line six. Okay. Tomorrow. Line seven. And can I ask a line... more question about line six? When you've uh, sure. got the, uh, the vowel, the, the um, second word, Va. it's a long word. You got ule teeth, and then do you say that e ret, or do you just kind yes. of put it, blend it together? No, no, no. Remember, dancing partners, you have to have a consonant in the vowel. It's ul teeth e ret. So you do ul, pronounce teeth, that e ret. The e. Yeah, definitely. Even you though the olive is silent, that's the consonant. It okay. has to have a dancing partner. It okay. has to have a vowel. So the olive has no value, no saying value, but you have to say the vowel under it. Eh. Ul, teeth, eh, ret. When you're speaking okay. faster, it sounds like you're slurring it together. Is that Ul, true? ferret. No, you still have to pronounce it. Ul, ferret. Okay. All right. And when you're singing and you're singing slowly, Robin, Robin, a way that you know where to put the emphasis in the word, you know, which to which part to emphasize, or you just learn that when you learn the word. Yeah, you do. You know, it's not like when I was teaching Spanish is like the next to last syllable. So, yeah, you just have to learn. Learn it is I'm not going to tell you any rules now. Because you have the word tiferet, that's on the second syllable from the end, and panav. You know, like afar. It's not always the last one. A lot of times it's on the last syllable. Like in your, your speak, like ani kotev, but it's kotevet when it's feminine. So I can't give you a rule like that. I think it's more the long word. I can look up the rules of stress. 
just uh, you have you know these are all words from the siddur. These words you'll just hear, and when you when you hear them, a lot of times you'll you'll get the. That's how I learned the um, stress. I never learned a rule for stress. Just learned the words. Okay, Robin, you're gonna do line seven for us. Faro. Uh, right. So who is was Faro? Faro. Faro. Who is that? Faro. Faro. Sarah. And in, in the Hebrew, it's Pharaoh. Okay. Um, Unkama, the far, the Pharaoh. Right. And when Pharaoh rose up, Unkama, the Pharaoh. Okay. And line eight. Where is uh, Charlene? Would you like to try line eight? Okay. Um. Gaffin, Gaffin. Right, she's got that long nun, that final nun. Nice job. Bore, Gaffin. Good. Perfect. Okay, now at the bottom of the page, we've got another long legs. The long ones are the final ones. You have a final nun, it's long, a final tzadi is a long. And the final fay is long, just like the others. Mem is not long, but a lot of the others are. This is a final fay. The only time you'll see it is at the end of a word. Okay? So on line nine, the word goof means body. Goof, it's a body. And this says ain, lo, demut, ha goof. The ain no goof. So repeat after me. Goof. 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 Ain. 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 Low. 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 Demut. 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 Ha ha goof. Ha goof. Ha goof. Ha goof. Like goofy. Ha goof. Goof. The ain no. Okay, and they say they is like a F sound. All right, now let's go on to um, on page 39. They are showing you the blessing for what? Oh, 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 no. Okay, tonight. Okay, the wine, Puri, the fruit of Bore, Puri, Agape. Okay. All right, who uh, takes out the fruit of the vine, Bore. Okay, so now the word Puri, we're using Puri, uh, that's just like the Fay, but what's the only difference? A dot. It has a, a dot. A dot. A dot, yeah. That changes the sound. Mm -hmm. The name of the letter is no longer fe, it's pay, mm -hmm. like pay me now, pay. That's the letter and it has a sound of a P. So we had a fe and now we have pay. Okay, let's do lines one and two together. Let's try to stay together like one voice. All right, when I say three, we'll begin slowly. One, two, Three, let's go. B, 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 Okay, those are all with the fe. Now we're gonna practice with the letter pe. P, p, p. These are all with a P sound. Line two. P. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ha, ha. 
<laughs> By the way, you want me to send you another magic uh, mystery message? Oh, I'll make it longer okay. this time. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's so hard to do when you're going between the Hebrew on my Hebrew typewriter because the Hebrew is one way, English is the other one. And it's, I almost gave up on it, but I was able to do it. Okay, now, line three. Uh, Marilyn, how about line three? I'll try. Uh, bit, uh, okay. Bit, uh, P. Uh, good. Asher. Um, Very good. Nisha T. Very good. Now, that happens to be an end of a syllable, Schwarz, a silent one, so it would be Nish Ba T. Now, you have that iron and no sound under it, but you do have a vowel. It's Nish Ba T. The that schwa under the iron has no sound. It's Nish. Ba T. It's a silent schwa. You have a silent vowel and a silent letter. So there's no sound. It's just nish ba T. Except the thing is when you uh, know Hebrew roots and grammar, you need to have the ayin in to spell it because it's part of spelling the word. So it has to be there, but it's not sounded. And the last word? Um, the uh P. Very good. Tells my own. All right. Line four. Susan. Okay. Like um, to do line four. I'll try. Um, um, wait a second. Pa ra z. Um, okay. uh, pa. Wait. That happens to be a silent schwa. And right. you'll know this because you'll hear it when you learn it. Pa z. Okay, so you don't, okay, Parsi, okay, Parsi, Al, Yad, um, E, now there's nothing under this, so that's like you had two, um, Ish, um, ba, um, Ben, um, Pa, Ra, Z, Pa, Ra, Z. Par, uh, I, right, Pa, Ra, Pa, Ra, Z, right. Par. It's it's par, a right, silent par. schwa, so right. it's in par. end of the syllable, no sound. Par C. Par, par C. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's C. the hard part. It's trying to get that silent. When silent and when it's not silent, you know. But okay. Yeah. You know when you hear the words enough. Okay. All right. Par. Line five. Um, Jody. Yeah. Pene, Pene, Shabbat, Pene, Pene, Shabbat, Neka, Nekabla, Nekabla. Very good, right. So you have two silent schwas, Pene, Shabbat, Nekabla. All right, and line six is, has that, um, again, Paro, Barrow, Paro. And when we get, uh, now we're reading in the Shabbat, we are reading all about plagues um, and we're reading about the uh, Jews are in Egypt. And so there's a lot of times when the word faro, sometimes it's paro and faro, it depends what comes in front of it, but it's that same guy. Okay, line seven, we have re puri, and that's gonna be an important word in blessings. Bore priha gafen, bore priha adama, Okay. Pri ha'adama. Pri means fruit of. Adama means the earth, the ground, the fruit of the ground. So what would, what kind of blessing is, if I say bore pri ha'adama, well, what grows on the ground? Vines, the food. Vines. Vines. Fruit, 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 fruit of the earth. Vegetables. Vegetable. Okay, so bore pri ha'adama is the blessing for vegetables. Yeah, the and stater. Later on, we'll learn the, the, the blessing. Yeah, bore pri ha'adama for the parsley. Yeah. Very good. And blessing for fruit, where does fruit grow? In trees. Fruit grows on a tree. 
Does anyone know the word for tree? Tu bishvat is coming up pretty soon. Tu bishvat higi ya haka ilano. Tu bishvat higi ya haka ilano. All right. You know, when we were in Hebrew class, we'd look out the window. I'd be talking about, I'd be talking my head off about the different fruits growing in Israel and the seven kinds, the Shiva Minim. And we would sing this song for the Hashkedia Parachat, the almond, almond tree is growing. And I would look outside and it would be snowing because oh, no. Shvat usually comes in February. I'm teaching these kids about, oh, all the beautiful fruits of the earth. Well, looking out the window, we're singing about the almond tree is growing, the golden sun is glowing, and it is snowing. It <laughs> usually happens that to Bishvat, which is coming up very soon. So you're so, saying our blizzard um, right now is perfect. Weather right now is okay, but we're not yet. No, no, Des Moines. To Bishvat, we we're a blizzard. <laughs> Des Moines in a blizzard. Are you having a blizzard? Are you kidding me? No. Really? Yes, we are. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, that's good. Perfect timing. <laughs> and it's heading. You're it's heading east. It's heading east to to us oh, tomorrow. Thank you. No, no, no. First, you get back. <laughs> You're very welcome. So, I like to uh, share. <laughs> we don't want to snow. It's raining the blessing, here. The blessing for fruit. Is bore pre ha eights. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Eights means tree. Tree. Okay. tree. The fruit mm -hmm. of the tree, pre ha eights. And that's so those now you have a whole bunch of blessings here, which are uh, bore pre ha gafin, bore pre ha adama, bore pre ha eights. They will have the same introduction bore pre, who takes out or brings forth the fruit of the fruit of the vine, the fruit of the ground, the fruit of the tree. So you can see that you've got three and one there. Carol, okay. what is Hagefen? What is Hagefen? Uh, the grapevine. The grapevine. Oh, Hagefen, right. Hagefen. Geffen and Gaffen are the same. Fruit of the vine. Right, okay. Okay. Okay, now, I think I lost my place. So are we up to the bottom here? We did all these. Bore uh, I think we're, seven. I think we're, okay, now, yeah. when you see the box, that's the whole blessing. So there's the hay with that little slash. When you say that, you say Baruch Ata Adonai. Mm -hmm. When you're actually saying the blessing, you don't say Baruch Ata Hashem, unless you're just practicing and you're very religious and you don't want to use God's name in vain. Okay, so very orthodox people, you know, if they're in the classroom, they would say Bore. Baruch Ata Hashem. But we're not going to say that because uh, there is a uh, custom for education, for Hinuch, for education. You can say it the right way so that when you're practicing it, you really know how to say it. All right, so let's say the blessing for wine on the bottom of page 39. Ready? Here we go. Okay, now let's try this for fluency. I'm going to call on two at a time and I want you to stay together. So, Jody and Marilyn, I want you to stay together and say the blessing on wine. Alice has a question. No, I was clapping my hand because oh. we, we all did, we did the prayer for the wines. I clapped. Yay. Tonight you can do it. You can. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, we're not done. Wait till I finish with you. I hope we get it's to like the, the light finish. bulb goes off in your head when you. I remember when I was first learning last time and I had a box of matzah and I go, matzah, matzah, <laughs> so excited, you know, just like the light bulb goes off. <laughs> I tell you a very quick, a very quick little anecdote. I grew up in the Bronx. My mother went to a kosher butcher. She also went to the chicken flicking place. Anyway, we, I would go outside and, and I only had one, one full year of Hebrew school. And I looked outside at the sign. And for years, years into adulthood, I thought it said kosher butcher. 
many years later, as I was an adult, and I was taking Hebrew Ulpan class, and then I looked at it again, and you know what it said? It said kasher basar, kosher meat. It didn't say kosher butcher. I was wrong for years and years and years. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> the light bulb went off <laughs> maybe 20 years later. <laughs> kasher, basar, kosher meat. Doesn't say butcher. <laughs> anyway, okay. Jody and Marilyn are going to say the prayer for wine together. One, two, three. Go. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Bore Bore Agafton. Yay! Two gold stars. <laughs> okay. Carol and Charlene, you're going to say it together. Do it slowly. Don't get excited. Don't get crazy. <laughs> Make it slow, okay? We'll start on the count of three. Achat, <laughs> shtayim, shalosh, go. Baruch, Ata Adonai, Eloheinu, Melech, Ha'olam, Borei Peri Hagafen. Yay! Two more gold stars. Okay. Excellent. I love it. Beautiful. Okay. Alice and Ella. Alice and Ella. Achat, Shtayim, Shalosh. Take it away. Baruch, Ata. Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri Hagafen. Yay! That's really nice. Okay, and Susan and Esther Achat Shtayim Shalosh Go. Baruch. Baruch. Tonight, you're psyched, ready. Okay, now go to page 40. We're getting there, as they say in French, on arrive. Now we have learned the word Baruch, and so we know the letter Bet, the second letter of the alphabet, Aleph Bet. Have any of you heard this? Just tell me if it sounds familiar. Aleph Bet Bet, Aleph Bet. Bet Gimel Dalit Hey Gimel Dalit Hey Bob Zion Chet Tet. Who's who uh, created that song? Um, Debbie Friedman. Debbie Friedman. Debbie, Debbie Friedman. Friedman. And it's for children. It's the alphabet song. When you learn the whole alphabet, you'll be able to sing the song. Okay. So we have learned the bet, and we have the word Baruch. We just said it at the top of page forty. It's Yahava Uvratzon. Do those words sound familiar? Yes. Where does that come from? Yahava Uvratzon. Hin Chaltanu Baruch Atanu. The Kiddish. The Kiddish. You nailed it. Yahava Uvratzon. Okay, so let's look at that. Be A Ha Va. So that's the beginning syllable, it sounded b a hava uv, that's the silent shva, uv ra son. We have a sari, we have a vowel, 
the Tsari and the O go together, Ra So, and it ends with a final nun, Uv Ra Son. Okay, so the bet we know. Now we're contrasting that with the vet. What's the only difference? Dot. 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 No dot. No dot. So now it changes sound from b to v, and it's called a vet. We have a bet and a vet. So here are some words. Baruch, we know that. B'nai. B'nai is the sons of. When you have a boy and a girl having a uh, bar mitzvah together, it's called B'nai. B'nai. Like children of mitzvah. B'nai mitzvah. If you have two at a time. Even if it's a girl. Masculine overrides like in most languages. Shabbat. We've seen that. Baruch and Shabbat. Okay. Now, I don't know why they make this so small, but Okay, line one. Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Ba'ed. Where does that come from? Aliyah. It's a prayer before the Aliyah. Which we, right, we're going to learn that next semester as we continue on. Hamvorach. I'm just curious. Does anybody here know how to take an Aliyah? Have you ever had the opportunity to yeah. read the blessings before and after? Yeah. Carol, yeah. what was the occasion? Um, I think I was just um, asked to go up, but then, of course, at my son's um, bar mitzvahs, I was I had Aliyahs also. But and we have a small, a very small congregation, and so if you're there on a Saturday, chances are um, <laughs> you're going to get an Aliyah. So that's one of the first things you have, to, and they have it written out in. Um, transliteration for phonetics, yeah, for most yeah. of us, yeah. Right. Jackie, you said you've had an Aaliyah? Jody, I mean, Jody, yes, who else? Um, uh, when, um, uh, when Barb okay. bought me, I'm sorry, and uh, kind of like Carol, I get tapped a lot on uh, Shabbat morning, <laughs> okay. Even if well, I think I'm running you, too late, I got tapped. <laughs> so you have three choices. How did you learn it? Did you read it in Hebrew? Did you read it in transliteration? Or have you just memorized it? Transliteration and memorization. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was if you do it a lot on Shabbat morning, you get to know it, right? Yeah. Who else has had an Aliyah? Who else? Okay, Ella, tell me your story. It was just, Ella? I was called up. It was a normal Saturday morning, no bar mitzvahs or anything. It was, so I was called up for that. And, and I said, you are it. Transliteration. <laughs> <laughs> the next time you'll be able to read it. And we finish with you in, in um, February. Esther, have you had an Aaliyah? Uh, yes. Uh, for my children are in bat mitzvah. And also our synagogue is very, very small. So if, if I go, I, I have an Aaliyah. Yeah. Now, you know, I read Torah um, in my synagogue. And the thing is, when, when there's not a lot of people there and you're given the Aaliyah for your own reading, the little, there's a little thing you don't do. You usually start the Torah reading with, Amen, and then you go it. But when you have an aliyah, you don't start with Amen. I don't know why, but that's that's the custom. You finish the aliyah, and then you they open up the Torah, and you just plain old start reading. So that's just one of these little things you learn as you go. Okay, so Hamvorach, who is to be blessed, and in that word you have the root from Baruch, blessed. Hamvorach, who is to be blessed. We have Uvenei and the children of, and we have the word Shabbat. So what they're going to be doing now is you're going to have a lot of words, more and more words that are going to come from Friday night service and from Shabbat service, and you'll see how it'll all come together. Okay, let's look at line two. Can anyone read line two for me? Line two, look at it. <coughs> Okay, Robin. Rach, b'nei, uvnei, shabbat, shabbat. What was the first on line two? Bar Baruch, hamvorach, 
Benay, great. Budnay, Shabbat, Shavat. Very good. So you notice one is Shabbat with a dot. That's what we've learned before the bet. And then Shavat. Nice. Very nice. So you have to really do the careful reading. And we have the at the end, the final half, Baruch, Hamavorach. Very nice. Okay, I want to take um, Ella. You're going to recognize the words on line three. Like, uh, get your feet wet with them. Think of an aliyah. How do you start the aliyah? Baruch Hu. Et Adonai Hamvorach. Right. Do you know the melody? If, if it started, I probably would. <laughs> Da 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 da. Baruch Hu et da da na yam vorach Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melch Haolam Asher Bachar Bano Mikol and etc. So Baruch Hu et Adonai Ham vorach. Can we all try that? Baruch Hu et Adonai Ham vorach. Good. Listen to the whole thing and repeat it. Listen to the melody. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamvorach. Again. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamvorach. Hamvorach. All right. Now, line four is the second line. So you go Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Kleolam Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Kleolam Ba'ed The first two lines there of the blessing to take in Aliyah. Da 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 Okay. All right, look at line five. I think we've seen these words. Uh, Esther, can you read line five? Mikadesh Pashabat. Beautiful. Line six is from the Kiddish. Um, Marilyn, can you do line six? Um, Ubayom. Hasha Hasha B Shavat Uvayom Hash V E Shavat. That's a silent shva. Uvayom Hash V E Shavat. Very nice. Yeah, Shavat. Okay. Okay, line seven, we had, uh, we had it. Um, Alice? Vayom uvayom deini uvein. Very good. Okay, so we're back on line eight to where we started at the top of page 40. And that is Ba'ahava Uvratson. I'm going to say it a few times. Ba'ahava Uvratson. Let's try it together. Ba'ahava Uvratson. Do you know what Ahava is? When I was in Israel with my daughter, there's a giant structure. And it spells out the letters for the word love, ahava. And I have a necklace, not wearing it now, but I have a necklace with those letters. But it's a, it's a big thing, and it's got, it's got ahava. Ahava is love. If you sign a note, the ahava means with love. If you sign a, a note, bishalom, it means with peace. So if you're writing to somebody that you're very close with, you can end your uh, your uh, letter with ba'ahava, with love. Okay. That's interesting. There's that um, there's that cosmetic company um, 
Aha. Well, I think that most people pronounce it Ahava, but it's Ahava, yeah. and it means I didn't know. Right. Ahava. Ahava is the right way to say Ahava mm -hmm. is love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now uh, line nine is Biratson, Uvratson. So you have Biratson and Uvratson. Okay. Biratson, Uvratson. And we see that final nun and the tzadi, these are kind of recently learned letters. We don't have that many letters to go. Okay. Um, Charlene, would you like to do line 10? I'll try it. All right. Uh, That's the spirit I love. I have a... Yes. Oh, good. Okay. Um, Bahava. Be ahava, right? Yeah. With love, ahava, love, be ahava. Okay, uh, Susan, line eleven. Vanu, vanu. Um, wait a second. Is that for? Oh, va, that would be varaza, varaz, varaza, um, vanu. Right, Van, vanu, the. That one is is the first syllable, and we will sound that shva the ratsa the ratsa vanu. Good. I want everyone to look ahead at line twelve. See where you've heard that word before. You've heard it in shul when the Torah is being read. You heard it on Simchat Torah. Bereshit. Bereshit. Yeah, who said it? Bereshit. Bereshit. Right. Yeah, Bereshit. What is Bereshit? The, Genesis. Uh, Genesis. What does that mean? Genesis. Okay, so what does the word Genesis mean in English? Beginning. If I say we talk about the genesis of an idea, the beginning. 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 Yeah, the origin, the beginning. So the beginning of the Torah goes Bereshit, bara Elohim, et HaShemayim, ve'et ha'aretz, ve'ha'aretz, haya tohu vavohu, and it was void. And empty. is Genesis. So now, Genesis, the very beginning of the Torah. That's the very first word of the Torah and the name of the first book of the five books, Bereshit. But that's the very first word of the Torah, Bereshit. In the beginning, bara created, Elohim, God, et, Hashemayim, the heaven, the et, Haaretz. So, Be is a prefix. It means in. Now, Rosh is your head. And as um, I'll teach you a little bit, Hebrew is based on roots, root letters. Um, most words in Hebrew have a three or four letter root. In this case, the root is the letter Rosh, Aleph, and Shin, which is Rosh or head. Bereshit means in the beginning, at the head of. It's like, you know, Rosh Hashanah, the head of the year, the new oh. year, beginning huh. of the year. Okay, so Rosh. And Be, Bereshit, in the beginning. Okay. And Bereshit, so it means the same thing, only it depends on what comes in front of the letter Vet. Okay, line 13. So we have Vanu, which we saw. Oh, you're going to like these words. Uh, can I ask a question first? In, well, line, sure. in line 10, the second word you said, if you sign that, it's with love. But then, so the but means in or with, depending on yeah. the context. Of. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because the word in, in, with in Hebrew is really im. But the expression is be'ahava, like in love. Like we have the expression in English, in solidarity. We sign this impeachment in solidarity. I won't say anything else. <laughs> <laughs> My lips sealed. <laughs> look, at, look at line 13. Yeah. Look at it to yourself and see if you recognize this. Share. Kijanu. Janu. 
Okay, so we've seen those words. I share Kiddushano by Mitzvotav in the blessing. Candle lighting, we saw. Baruch Atad and I, Yohanan Melech Alom. I share Kiddushano by Mitzvotav B'Tzivanu Lahadlik Ne'er Shel Shabbat. So this is part of the blessings. And Asher means who? Asher, Kiddushanu, who made us Kodesh. Now about um, roots, the letters Kuf, Dalit, and Shin. Oops, Hold one second. Hello? Hi, Lucy, I'm in the middle of a class. Can I call you back in a while? Okay, thanks, bye-bye. That's the one who made my kippah, my friend. Okay, Asher, who? Kiddushanu. So you have Kuf, Dalit, and Shin. Those three letters are a root. That means holy. So we have Kadosh, 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 holy, holy, holy. We have Kiddush, sanctification over the wine. And we have, unfortunately, Kaddish, when we're saying Kaddish to somebody. So we have a share Kiddushanu b'mitzvotav with God's, with your command, with his commandments. The Ratzavanu and wanted us. So a share Kiddushanu b'mitzvotav the Ratzavanu from the uh, Kiddush. It's from the Kiddush. Okay, so now we have a string of words. Ba'ahava on 14. Ba'ahava uvratzon the Shabbat. For the show, these are words from the Kiddush. They're getting us ready for the Kiddush. Repeat after me on 14. Ba'ahava. Ba'ahava. Uvratzon. Uvratzon. This Shabbat. This Shabbat. So in this case, it's an exception. Instead of saying Kod Show, it's pronounced Kod Show. Okay, so that's part of the Kaddish. And 15, the Shabbat. Shabbat. Kod Shecha, Kod Shecha, the Ahava, the Ahava, who brought song, 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 who brought all right, so we are getting ready with a lot of these words for the Kiddush. That's, in fact, if you take a look at, I don't know if we'll get there today. Just go quickly to page 45. There's a lot of words in the Kiddush, in the Kiddush. So on page 45 in the box is the whole Kaddish. So I... I'm going to skip to that just for a minute because I want to I want to go over the rest of this you know the next as much as we can. I just want you to do something which I taught my students and which you learn in elementary school teaching tracking. Anybody an elementary school teacher here when you're reading? You know what tracking means? Tracking is following, like when the uh, Torah is being read. I like to track it. I look at the Hebrew and I follow it with my finger. Now, some people uh, read nice and clearly. Some people don't. Some people have different accents, like the older folks have a, <laughs> look who's talking, have a, um, an Ashkenazic pronunciation. And I used to gabby and there was a, an older man who was in his 80s, I guess. And it was hard to follow him because the pronunciation was different. So this is the Kiddush. I'm going to sing the Kiddush slowly. I want you to try to track it. 
okay? So put your finger on the words like you're in elementary school and follow it, follow the bouncing ball. All right, all understand what I want you to do? Any questions? Okay, here we go. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei pori hagafen Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kiddushanu b'mitzvotav Berats. I think I'm doing Passover. No, it's just a wedding. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei pori hagafen Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech haolam I'm on track now. Asher uh, Kiddushanu, line three. The mitzvot haveratzavanu. Bishabad kodesho biahava. Uvratzon in chilanu. Zikaron lemase vereshi. Ki hu yom tehila. La mikra e kodesh zeher letziat mitzrayim <clears throat> kivanu vacharta veotanu kidashta mikol hamim Vishabat kod shecha Ve'ahava uvrat son Hinchal tanu Baruch ata Adonai Mekadesh hashabat And everybody will say Amen Amen, Amen. Now, I have some suggestions, and we'll get to the other stuff. If you can find this on YouTube, it would be very, very beneficial for you to take page 45 at the top and track and listen as you hear it. Or if you can snatch somebody who knows how to chant the Kiddush, and you have your paper here, like somebody in your family, a kid, your husband, anybody, have them read it from the Sidur, sing it, and, and follow it from the Sidur. That would be very, very helpful. Because now it's what the Germans would call Gestalt. You're putting the whole thing together. It's the letters, the vowels, the words, and the melody. So when you put this all together, you have the Kiddush. And actually the word is not Kiddush, it's really Kiddush. Talk about where the accent is. It's on the last syllable. Kiddush. So uh, now I'm going to read it. Not sing it. I'm going to read it slowly and I want you to do it again. Track it. Okay. Now there are, I think this is maybe a we haven't had a chet. Okay, well, there's a couple of uh, letters we haven't had. So what? Sin. Let's uh, just... And sin also. We have a sin. Sin, sin. Yeah, we had the sin, but we didn't have the sin. And the chet? Um, Zion. The Zion. We had Zion. Didn't we have Zion? Did we? I don't think so. No. Yes. No. Oh, Zion. Okay, but that's on page, well, so what? That's on page 44. It's about four letters you haven't had, but I want you to look at it and track. You know enough that you can track. You can follow. And that's a skill. When you go to services and you are, um, they're reading, the cantor is reading the prayer, you know enough now to put your finger on the words and follow. And that's how you're going to learn. And that's how I've learned some of the melodies. I listen to the cantor and I'm following and I go, oh, that's what it sounds like. Okay, I'm going to say it. Ready? Put your finger on Baruch. Baruch, Ata, Adonai, Eloheinu, Melech, Ha'olam, Borei, Peri, Agapen. Okay. Next line. Baruch, Ata, Adonai, Eloheinu, 
Melev Ha'olam, Asher Kidshanu, third line, B'mitzvotav, Deratsa Vanu, Deshabbat Kodcho, Be'ahava Uvratzon, next line, Hinchilanu, Zikaron, Lama'ase, Vereshit, Ki, Hu, Yom, Lechila, next line, La Mikra E Kodesh, Zecher Litziat Mitzrayim, Kivanu Vacharta, next line, Ve Otanu Kidashta Mikol, that word is always pronounced Kol, Mikol Ha Amim. The Shabbat, Kod Shecha, the Ahava, last line, Uv Ratzon, Hin Chal Tanu, Baruch, Ata, Adonai, Mikadesh, HaShabbat. Okay, so even though you're missing some, you you've got enough of the kishkas of the alphabet that you could really follow. Now, let's go back. So, um, okay, we have a little time. Um, we are on page 41. Yeah, page 41. Now, at the top of the page, it says, Hin Chilanu. Hin Chal Tanu. So this is the letter Chav. Uh, we've had a, this is, I mean, this is Chet. Chet. We had a Chav. Um, chav means palm. Kaf is palm. They have done. But this is Chet. So it goes, Aleph, Bet, Bet, Gimel, Dalit, Hey, Vav, Zion, Chet, Tet. Chet. This is Chet. So here's the thing. In Hebrew, you've got several letters that have the same sound. Right? Like in English, you have a K and sometimes the C, as in cat. Right? So we have a chaf, which we had. And we had a final chaf in the word baruch. And this is a different letter. It's called chet. Like when you say lochayim or chai, you, you use the letter chet. Okay? Letter chet. So let's do the first line. So it's a ch. Remember, that's a gargly sound, just like a chaf and a chet. Same sound, right? Okay. Let's do line one together. Ready? We're going to do a lot of here. Ah, 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 Okay, so it's that. And there is no equivalent in English. So that's why they put the letter H with a dot under it. When you see in transliteration, uh, the letter H with a dot under it, it's H, it's the CH. Okay, we don't have a ch in English. There's no such thing. All right, now here we have some important words that are used with this. So we have chai. Chai. Am Yisrael chai, right? The nation of Israel lives. Am Yisrael chai. And then you have the word chayim. Now, the boy's name, chayim, like chayim Weizmann. That's how you spell Chaim, C-H-A-I-M in English, Chaim, or L'Chaim, to life, to life, to life, L'Chaim, right? And there's a third word, L'Chaim, right? So when we make Kiddush, we say L'Chaim. 
Now we have the next word is Torah Chayim, the living Torah. Torah Chayim. And then we have El. El is another word for God. El Chai, the living God. El Chai. Okay, so Chaya and Chayim, all those with the same root have to do with life. So that's very Can nice. Can I ask one question? Um, so when people sure. have, when people have a necklace, you know, with chai, it's supposed to be chai, but you just have the. It's really just chet, right? It would be no, it would be a chet and a yud. But do they? Do you have a necklace that says chai? But usually, a chet they, and a yud. Usually they kind of mix. No, not them. just a chet. Mm -mm. Not just a chet. It'd be a chet and a yud, chai. Look carefully if you have some. Chet, yud is chai. Okay. That's like. Chet alone is ch. Yeah. Charlene, you have a necklace that has a chai on it? Yeah, I'm going to bring the iPad really close. Okay, it's just a There you go. Necklace. Chet and Everybody yud. Everybody has to have the yud. Yes, yes it's yeah. very pretty. Chet and Yud, Chai. My Hebrew yes. name is Chaya. Chaya, there you go. Life. All right, so the Chet and the Yud. Now, if they put a, a hay at the end of that, it would have spelled out Chaya. Chaya. <laughs> Remember Miss Piggy? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, what's the, what's the first word? <laughs> Jody, what's the first word on line three? Something you like to eat. Chala. Yeah, chala. Okay. And so that chala is a special kind of, I still have a chala for tonight that I made. And the next word, Jody, is just the word for bread. What's that? Lachim. 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 Lechem. 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 Remember, Hamotzi Lechem. Okay, the next word means rest. Can you pronounce it, Jody? Me, menucha. Menucha. Right. And the next word means one. Ad, um, Adonai. Not Adonai. Um, Ad. Echad. Echad. You know, okay. Passover, when you know who knows one, I know one, one is in Hashem in heaven and the earth, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, or some people go, Echad, mi yodea, Echad, and mi yodea, Echad, Eloheinu, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, Echad. But when you so here's where Hebrew gets a little crazy. Hebrew has feminine and masculine numbers. Who would have thought? Right? Is that the Shagas? When you're counting, you say, Achad. Oh, is that a kitty cat? Yeah. <laughs> this is Chatty Cathy. Chatty Cathy. <laughs> uh, so when you're counting, it's achat, shtayim, shalosh. And this is echad. Achat and echad, they both mean one. What can I tell you? All right, let's look at line four. This is a word that's in the Kiddush. All right, I'll give a hundred dollars to anybody who can pronounce the first word in line four. Don't all hurry at once. Hilanu. Who said that? Me. Me. We got me. Everyone's fifty. Fifty to each of us. Yeah. Fifty to me. Robin, will you say it again? No, it's not so attractive. What about one hundred and fifty dollars? <laughs> I'm Robin? sorry. Guess say the first word again on my screen. Good, Alice. Heen chilanu. Beautiful. And what's the next word, uh, Esther? On line four, the second word. In no, it's different uh, from the first one. Heen. Terrific. Okay, now you see where they're different? Mm -hmm. The first one says hin chi 
and Hin Hilanu, and the second one was Hin Chal Tanu. So you have to really look carefully. Those are tricky because they're very close, right? Hin Hilanu and Hin Chal Tanu. Okay. And let's see. Carol, can you pronounce the next word, the third word on line four? Mm -hmm. um, that is, um, that's Tahila. Very good. And Marilyn, can you pronounce the last word on line four? Uh, Baharta. Very good. Very good. So we have Hin Hilanu. Hin Khaltanu Tila Baharta Baharta. So now we have again, I'm thinking Kiddish, Baahava Uvrat Son Hin Hilanu. Baahava Uvrat Son Hin Hilanu. Okay, line six. Lines six. Um, Susan, want to try it? Oh, wait, which line are we on? I had five. Was it five? Six. I, you, six. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought we were still on five. I thought, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, ba -a -ha -va. Does that make sense? Ba -a okay. Mm -hmm. um, wait a second. Subrazon. Subrazon. Um, Try he, to do it more like so. Uh, right, I know I keep like <laughs> z, z, I know that Sadi, I know you don't like the letter Sadi. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, okay. Um, and then on to the next one. Hinahalatanu. Okay, so that's a schwa. Hin. Hin. That's one syllable. Oh, it's a silent one. Kal. Kal. Yes, there's two silent schwas. Hin, okay. Hin, hal, 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 tanu. Right. Hin, hal, you have to stop when it's schwa. Hin, because it's silent. Hal, hal, tanu. Hin, hal, tanu. Hal, tanu. So those and are two confusing words. Hin, hilanu, and hin, hal, tanu are both in the, uh, in the kiddush. So that's why they're practicing. Okay, um, Ella, can you do line seven? Ooh, all of it? Ooh, I'll try. try. <laughs> okay. Tequila. Uh, Good. Who, okay. Huyom Tequila. Great. Um, yom Tequila Lamik. Uh, Lamik. Lamik. Ra, it's, the kuf is so okay. Lamik, lamik ra, e. mimik ra, to mimik ra a. a. Good. Uh, uh, kadosh. Kodesh. 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 Oh my head! I'm gonna put my hand on your head, and you're gonna go oh. 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 The dot on the top is O. Kodesh. Kodesh. All right, so everybody listen. It goes, Tehila, who Yom Tehila, Yom Tehila, Le Mikra E Kodesh. That's a mouthful. <laughs> okay, Robin, how about line eight? Reta, uh, no, Baharta. Uh, vanu, Vacharta, Vanu, Vacharta, the O mm -hmm. Tanu, Kidash, Kida, Kidash, Kidasha, Kidasha, no, Kidashta, Kidashta, mm -hmm. Kidashta, you made holy Kidashta. Okay, so now here are some uh, words from the Kiddush. I'm going to read this. You look at line nine. It says, Vishabbat Kodesh. Now, the word Kodesh, um, 
I've told you that that vowel that that's called a command, that little T pronounced like ah. Only in the word, in variations of the word Kodesh, it's pronounced aw. So it's Vishabat Kod Show. Vishabat Kod Show, not Kod Show. Vishabat Kod Show. And that's correct. And says again, Vishabat Kod Shecha. Vishabat Kod Shecha. Line 10 is Ba'ahava Uvratzon. And again, Ba'ahava Uvratzon. Same. And now 11. Hin Chilanu. And then Hin Chaltanu. Hin Chilanu and Hin Chaltanu. And again, they say the CH as in Chai or Lachayim. Okay, uh, when the letter Yud follows the A ah vowel, it is pronounced I. So, de ra chai ye shai meets vo tai meets vo tai. Okay, how are we doing? Oh, we have a little bit of time. I'm putting you through your paces today. I know it's, I'm, I'm really pushing. Okay, um, do you want to stop here? Or you want to go on a little bit? I gave you a lot today. I really was pushing your brain. You might be tired. So up to you. What do you want to do? You want to stop? You want to go on another few minutes? I kind of like to stop. Yeah, it's, it's a lot to think uh, about. Yeah, I think, you know, it's, it, it, it's uh, I pushed you towards the kiddish. Now, your homework. Homework is, if you can find someone to sing the Kiddush, if you can look online and maybe there's a service, or um, Friday night, maybe your, uh, I don't know if your shul, my shul, they have um, Zoom with a cantor. So we, you can get on, uh, if your shul doesn't do that, you could probably get on with, um, even in, in Manhattan and in, uh, in, um, BJ, um, what it's called, but the, one of the big synagogues will have it online, live streaming when they get to the Kiddush. Park but, Avenue. Um, what's it? Um, Central. 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 Central Synagogue is um, online. Anyone, any one of them, any one of them, when they do the Kiddush at the end of the service, mm -hmm. the cantor will do it and they'll do it beautifully. You can hear it. But if you take out your paper here and you follow it, you will see that, you know, it's start. What I want you to do is start getting used to hearing it. That's not the whole deal. Then it goes again. And it goes on. It's a long deal. So see if you can, if not tonight, but look online. I'm sure you're going to find it. And that's it. Because the next couple of pages are, again, still leading up to all those words. It's a lot of reading. It's a lot. And it'll take time until you learn how to sing it. But this is really great. I mean, this is a real reading objective. You can learn the Kiddush. And, the, you know, learning the other few le letters. So we did the, the new letter today, Vet. We did the Chet. And if you look ahead on page 42, it's a Kaf. It's K sound. You can even try to practice. And then you have on 43, you have Shin as in Shalom. And now what I told you once once before, if you look, go ahead to page 43. I'm gonna leave you with this. The learn to recognize in Hebrew the word Shalom. Why am I saying that? The word Shalom has a dot on the right. Shalom, you see that all over the place. Shema, Shabbat, and there is Shalom. Shabbat, Shalom. The letter sin is an S sound. The shin is SH. There's no equivalent in English. The sin looks exactly like the shin, except, and here's what I tell you, it's a sin to have a dot on the left. Remember that. It's a sin to have a dot on the left because the letter sin has a dot on the left. And I have nothing against the letter sin, but I want to be able to memorize it. So the sh is a dot on the right, and sh 
Shin, down on the left. You have a little mantra for the Shin, maybe um, Shalom. It's, it's the right thing to, to have Shalom, which is peace. Shalom is the right thing to do, Shin. Down on the right. Okay. And um, well, they seem to me these letters are getting smaller and smaller. So we'll go over um, the next couple of pages next week. Yeah, it'll be the 22nd. And by the end of the month, we we'll only have a few more letters after this. We'll have all the letters. So you go into the advanced, and then there'll be new people in the class. We will go over quickly all the letters and all the vowels in the beginning, in February 5th, the beginning of the class, because I don't know who's coming in. I don't know what their skills are. So we'll go over the whole alphabet. We will have learned all the letters by the end of January. And then we'll go over again, the whole alphabet. And um, then uh, we'll go on. And I think the first thing we might do, go over the Torah blessing. So you can actually functionally get up there and not panic. <laughs> and they say, Alice, come up for an only what's your Hebrew name? Oh, no, no. Now, when they call you up, by the way, for an Aliyah, I don't know if you've heard this or if they do this in your shul, but I'm in an egalitarian shul. Are you all egalitarian? Um, mine is mixed, actually. You, two services going okay. on for Hathora yeah. and Hathora. Conservative. Okay. If you are called up for an aliyah and everyone's sitting together, that's egalitarian. That's equal. That's even Stephen because they wouldn't have women coming up for an aliyah unless you are egalitarian or in a women's congregation, a women's um, setup. So um, when they call you up, the word they use is, because I gab, gab I a lot, I gab I Rishon, they call people up. So if it's a man coming up, they go, Ya Amod, hi, my uncle, or whatever, Ya Amod. But for a woman, anybody who knows their stuff, who's Gabi Rishon, you have to say, Ta Amod. Ya Amod means he will stand. And Ta Amod in Hebrew grammar means she will stand. So anyone who's a Gabi should, and you're coming up, they would say, Ta Amod, and call your Hebrew name. And Alice, what's your Hebrew name? Um, all, of, all of a sudden, I forgot. Hang on. I told you at the beginning, um, Chavala. Okay, Chavala. <laughs> all right, they might say Chava. They would say, Ta'amod, Chava, Bat, the daughter of, Yaakov. your father's name? Yaakov. Yaakov. Uh, Ta'amod, Chava, Bat, Yaakov. Now, Barak. In the egalitarian service, they'll say the and your mom? Rachel. Your Rachel. Ta'amod, Chava Bat Yaakov, Rachel. La Alia, Havishana, okay, the third or whatever, the first. Hashlishid. So that's the correct Hebrew. If people really know what they're doing, they'll say Ta'amod, your Hebrew name, Bat. Daughter of your father, the your mother. So now that we're gonna we're gonna learn that um, in the beginning in February fifth, I'm gonna uh, start with that. So um, then you all be able to um, have an aliyah. Does yeah. anyone know what aliyah means? To yes. Up. To go up. Yeah, aliyah is uh, going up. Like when you make aliyah to Israel, immigration is going up. Ella? Carol, uh, are we going to need uh, a CDOR for the next class? Are we going to read? No. No. Okay. No. Well, um, well this um, book is geared towards um, Friday night service. And what you're going to learn, because I've been through the whole book, what you will learn for the Friday night service, in some cases, like in Lecha Dodi, it's only four of the stanzas. It's the first two and the last two. It's not the whole thing. So what you need is this book. Okay. Where are you going to need? We're going to add a few things, maybe from the Sidor, like a Matovo. That's not in here. Um, and uh, the Torah blessing. It's not in here. So having a Sidor is good. 
and uh, it doesn't really Which matter. One? Well, I am very used to Sidur Sim Shalom, but I do have in my possession because my synagogue is now using Lev Shalem, the red cover. We use. What yeah, do you have? We use that. Does everybody have that? Have mm -hmm. Shalom. I don't have the red one. Okay. Um, when we, what I will do is, I have them both, and when we're going to do, let's say, Matov or whatever, I'll tell you the pages in both. I'll, in advance, I'll prepare and I'll say, in this one is in Sim Shalom and in Lev Shalom, because I have them both. Okay? So Thank if you, you don't have a Sidur at all, what I suggest is, huh, you can't get into, like, my shul is closed. My synagogue is and you can and I you can download it online. Download them. Download yeah, them. Yeah, you can download it online. Yeah, I can tell you in advance what prayers we're going to do, and then you can download them, or maybe I can and and have it on the screen, do a little screen share. I could do that too. Okay, so um, there'll be the emphasis. Start. We'll start. Be next. We'll start with the Aliyah. And then there's a blessing that's very nice, to be engaged in words of Torah, which one of the other teachers suggested. That's a nice thing to learn. It's very easy. Um, and then when we get, Passover is the end of March. So when we get into March, um, I have a couple of things that we're going to do. We'll do the four questions, we'll do the, the, the beginning, we'll do the plagues. Uh, the Kiddush of Passover has a different melody, which I started singing before because I like it. So um, you're going to get a, a, a taste of some of Shabbat, a uh, taste of the um, Haggadah, and more, more uh, with Friday night. So, and yeah, so it's going to be, you know, that advanced beginner. You really will be learning. Well, the time you finish in June, you're going to have a lot under your belt. This is a fabulous uh, course. You're going How to long? learn so much. This class is more than six weeks. The next one, more than What's six that? weeks. This class. Uh, the next one is every 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 yeah, week. The and there's beginner. only How many two weeks? two weeks. How many weeks is um, the? I don't know, but it's twice twice as long as this one. Because okay. we'll be meeting every week, okay. with the exception of two weeks, I think, because it's uh, right before Passover, and I don't know what uh, what the other one is. Maybe I before. Think it's um, four I think it's and four we end in June. Okay. What's that? Yeah, there's oh, two. There's two classes out. that we don't have because of holidays. I hope they're going to um, be um, recording and, and posting those. All the classes because every week it's you know it's likely someone yeah. might miss one so i hope they'll keep recording right right and 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 it is um you know i'm not gonna go the aim is not to go super speedy we have a curriculum in mind and we do what we do if we don't finish everything that's perfectly fine i'll tell you what the rest of the things were that you can look up in a sidor and the Haggadah. The, the purpose is not speed. The purpose is to be able to read and feel good about it. Not to feel that this is, you know, we're, we're just racing through this. That's, that's not the way to do it at all. Because if whatever you learn, you learn well, it'll stay with you. And if I race through it, you won't learn it at all. So that's my philosophy. You know, learn it, learn it well, master it. Learn it for mastering. That's what we're going to do. And you're doing great. Really great. I'm very proud of all of you. So with that in mind, you're going to track tonight. If anyone does the Kiddush in your home, or at least you can do the um, Borei Kri Hagafen business. Okay. And I'll teach you uh, soon the hand washing blessing and the blessing, one, my, one of my favorites, the blessing of the children and the priestly blessing. Which is it's beautiful. As the words are beautiful, and in our house we put hands on heads, even if it's just the two of us, we put a hand on each other's head, and it's uh, that's one of my favorites. One of my favorite is the blessing the children Friday night, even though they're not living here right now. 
we say all their names, we put the hand up. It's really nice. It's a very beautiful thing. Well, I'm going to make like a cholent for dinner for tonight. I got to get the I got beans and meat and, and, and marrow bones. I got to get it in the pot. So we'll see you next. <laughs> okay, thank we'll you, Carol.